Hello internet. In this video, I'm gonna show you the best use of the farmland on Ginger Island and how to make a crazy half million gold every four days, working out to be 13 million gold a year. And I'm probably gonna do it in a mocking, condescending way, but that's neither here nor there. Get this, it involves zero watering, zero tilling, zero maintenance, and only three in-game hours to collect every four days. It's perfect for the lazy farmer who, like you, would rather hit on Haley because she's fine. Or, you know, talk with Leah and drink some wine in their free time. No one likes Jody, right? I guarantee this is the most cost-effective and efficient method of gold farming in the game. So let's get started. Now, I love stupid math and I do it for you because apparently a lot of people on the internet suck at math. So expect to see some numbers. A lot of sites and people will tell you different things to plant or do on Ginger Island Farm. That's because a lot of people are idiots. This land is essentially like the greenhouse. Once you plant something, it can grow forever and ever and ever, and any crop can grow here at any time of the year. While this is true, my biggest concerns are, one, the time you will spend planting and maintaining the crops, and two, how much profit you can make. Some will tell you ancient fruit is the best since you can plant it and it keeps producing every seven days. Once you make it into wine, it boasts a good profit. Morons. Others will tell you sweet gem berry since it's the single most profitable fruit in the game. Troglodytes. Others will tell you star fruit since it can turn into the most profitable wine in the game. Simpletons. Let's look at some numbers. Of those 757 main farm tiles of land, let's say you have sprinklers on 30 of them, so 727 plantable tiles. We're running all these numbers assuming you have the artesian profession when you sell and the agricultural profession when you grow. Ancient fruit. 727 ancient fruit harvested after seven days and then another seven days in kegs, so 14 days. 727 times 2300 a bottle is 1.65 million gold. Divided by 14 days, 118,000 gold a day. But you probably spent three full days harvesting, replanting, putting in kegs, taking out of the kegs, three full days. You, can, you cannot build Junimo huts here and have those cute little blobs do it for you. So you will be mindlessly harvesting every seven days. Sweet Jamberry. We're gonna calculate this with the best case scenario in mind, that you are growing these with the agricultural profession using deluxe fertilizer, which is extremely hard to come by, but let's pretend and do a little Stardew roleplay since my wife won't, but that's neither here nor there. That's a story for another day. And let's pretend that you get all iridium quality fruits. Unlikely, but let's pretend. I mean, honestly, like how difficult is it to dress like Abigail? So, sweet jamberry, 727 times 6,000 gold of fruit is 4.3 million gold every 22 days. So 198,000 gold a day. That's almost 80K a day more than ancient fruit, right? Wrong, you fools. If you wanna keep that up, you're gonna to have to put at least half of those back into a seed maker so you can replant them. So that drops down to 99,000 gold a day. And you just spent one to two days harvesting and replanting and using the seed maker. No. Star fruit, same thing as ancient fruit with the wine maker. So let's say you're using hyper speed grow. Again, hard to come by, but let's just pretend. Eight days to grow, another seven days in the keg, 15 days. Star fruit wine is 3,100 a bottle. So times 727 is 2.3 million gold divided by 15 days, 152,000 gold a day. And you spent almost four full days picking, replanting, putting in kegs, taking out of kegs, not to mention the cost of seeds every single time if you're not putting them in a seed maker, which will be even worse. So in summary, star fruit, 150K gold a day for full in-game days of work. Ancient fruit, 118 gold a day with three full days of work and sweet gem berry, 99,000 gold a day with about two full days of work. So what's the solution? Let the buzzy bees do it for you. My plan allows for 464,000 gold every four days, or 116,000 gold a day, and only three measly in-game hours of harvesting. That's it, step one. Plant and tap a lot of maple trees. You're gonna need 488 maple syrup for this, and that takes some time to get. What's the best way to have your beehive layout? Well, the best honey is fairy rose honey, which sells with the artesian profession for 952 gold. Beehives have an effective range to pick up on the flower as shown here. So the most effective method is to have a layout like this. Right? Wrong. Don't be simple, like I was. This is extremely time consuming because not only do you have to get in every little corner, but you end up picking a ton of flowers in the process and having to replant them all the time and regrowing, which takes 12 days. 
So I changed it around a little bit and set up my first layout like this, but I modified it so I would not be able to pick the flowers. Much better, except it was a disaster. Still took me a full day to harvest my land. So I modified it again with the straightest lines possible to pick up everything as you walk. Sometimes my genius even astounds me. The key early on is to plant the fairy rose and surround it on all sides with beehives and set a sprinkler on one of the tiles. Once it's fully grown in 12 days, remove the sprinkler and put another beehive in its place. This is a photo of the available main land tiles for farming. This is a pixelated breakdown of the space. The black outline and everything inside of it are all tillable tiles. This is the layout of the beehives in yellow with a fairy rose flower in red. And this is the same thing with grass, river, bridges, and water added for reference. Pause the video here if you're setting up your layout. Now, you will need a lot of wood, coal, and iron to make these hives. Here's an actual list of everything that you'll need. If you purchase these materials, it works out to be 2.68 million gold. That's a lot of money, right? Oh, you poor peasant. Not really. Me and Jeff laugh at your poverty. Once you create the hives and start harvesting the money, it will only take 24 days to get your money back and start making a profit. That's it. That's less than a month. So, my sweet summer child, if you want to make the most profit for the absolute least amount of work, this is the way to go. This is, however, not a good strategy for the normal farm where the fairy rose unfortunately only grows in the fall. So sad. But close your mouth, baby bird, because I'll feed you. I have a plan for that too. If you want to know my regular farm strategy for making a whopping 339,000 gold a day or about 39 million a year, check out my video on ancient fruit farming. I respond to all comments, mostly in a sarcastic way, so proceed at your own risk. If you enjoy fitness content, I do a special series where I break down video game characters and comic book characters, and I talk about their physical characteristics and how you can get their abilities in real life. Check out those videos right here. And remember to subscribe to the page. Thanks for watching. Much love.